hip to hip, okay? It's literally that. We go back to fundamentals as we teach. Okay, you put two guys together here, have a, just a flat shield bag there in between, so they want to feel the squeeze and the uh, hip to hip where they're working butt to butt. I got four eyes on the linebacker, and we're just going to lift and work the down. So this is a good non-contact, good off-season, good fall camp drill that we do. Once again, we start spring ball, start summer OTAs, doing this year-round at the beginning to get the foundation of what we really want in a double team. We want to move the downs, right? We want to handle the first level first before we get in the big hurry to get to the second level. Okay, so we got a shield in between here. I'm just staying at linebacker depth, and as you watch here, all we want to do is have the guys feel that we're really lifting the down, eyes on the backer, and then just point. Once they point, you can see here now Sean is giving a little bit of the ball to the shoulder to deliver it, he's going to snap off to the backer, and then now he's the trail guy, so he's the takeover based off the fit. Okay, then you put him into stance. So now they're in a three-point stance. It's the same drill. It's the same thing we talked about in that first picture, right? I've got my down and my backer stacked directly behind me, right? So we want to move the down, lift the down, and then once that backer comes off one way or the other, that's then my deliver guy, and the other guy is the takeover guy, okay? So we step into it. you got to have an assistant, the coach, somebody do it, where they move with it a little bit, but now that shield's back in between their hips. So now we're working hip to hip. We're square. we got a good base. We're lifting, moving the down, and then you just point again. Once I point again, there's the deliver, and there's the takeover. Okay. The last thing that we get into, I think, is really important too, is you get into drill tempos. Not a good way to mix it up. Just lean on them. You can put a defensive guy there. I like to do this early on. I like to be hands-on with the guy. I like coaching them and teaching them that way so they can feel it. But now you put the pad in between their hip, and then you're just hanging down and leaning on them so that they have to force themselves now to stay in their legs, stay in the technique, lifting their lower body, and moving the down with their body while we're staying square and hip to hip. So just lean on them heavy, squeeze. So now it's a little more resistance for them so that we're not assing back, we're not leaning in the hole, and then just break away one way. So now I break away this way, there's the takeover, there's the delivery. He's going to run to the second level to the linebacker. All right, so just a good hip-to-hip -hip drill that we work year-round in every phase of football. Okay. Then you get into flipper progression. So now what are we working? We're working that next picture. So on this one here, we're offset. So there's the down. Here would be my other trail guy, and the back is somewhere in here. So we're going to go left, right, flipper. When we flipper, we're going to we're looking to pop through and spin the shoulders of the down. You don't want to hang and drift on it because that's when you get held. That's when you get pulled off, right? So we start base guys that come in. They work the flipper, and I'm going to go left, right, or right, left, and flipper through and spin the shoulders of this down. And I'm trying to really pry through that thing and not lean on it, right? Just like we were doing in the lift hip to hip drill. What do you do here is a nice little easy one that we get into. I just take a flat pad and lean on him, right? And then two whistles, so it's a nice progression for this. So he's going to go up and down with his left foot and then puncture 90 with his right foot, and we don't want to bleed on the double team. So if this was a center working inside zone to the left, and I know the ball's vertical, I want to help on a shade, I may lift the shade with the guard coming to me. If this is a right guard working it to a, uh, with a uh, three technique here, and he's going to be left, right, flipper through, and the tackle is going to take it over. If this were a tackle, then a tight end. So once again, just teaching generic principles of now, I'm the take, I'm the deliver guy of the double team. I've already got the leverage of the backers pre-aligned inside of me. I'm now going to be left, right, flipper looking to deliver this thing here. And all he's doing here is just throwing the flipper, trying to spin it, and then I just like to lean on him, give him some friction so that they feel the base, and then ready to snap to the backer. Not in a big hurry to get to the second level. We got to handle the first level first. Okay. Big coaching point. So here, angle departures, he's working. He'd be working a linebacker here, so I'd be left, right, flipper, and then ready to snap because the guy's staying at depth. Okay. Another way we get into it now, the speed, right? Jam snap. So that flipper there is you got backers that may be a little lateral, maybe some gap exchange swirl, whatever that tool is. Now you've got some downhill fast foam backers, right? You're in a short yardage situation. You're in, you're running a gap scheme or a duo. You could use this as the same deal here too, right? But just teaching a different tempo of, I have a flipper, or I need to be jammed and ready to snap. I still want to handle the first level first. I still want to move the downs. So that's the critical part of this, and that's why we tag this one, jam, snap. Okay? You drill this thing two ways, right? Okay? So you can do it where it's near foot, where I'm just jam snapping. So now we're going to near foot. You can see it's lifting and spinning the shoulders here on the crowder, and then I'm ready to snap to a backer that's a fast fill guy right now. So I can't get hung up on that down. Right? I've got to be in it where I'm either near foot through and gone, just getting the thing started for the trail guy, or it could be a quick outside inside jam and then working almost like a ricochet technique that we'll get into in wide zone. 
Okay, but working this on the crowther is good. Lift it, spin the shoulders, staying square, and then ready to drive. We'll get back to the sled here in a minute. All right, so now we come back to us. I think this is a really good clip. I watch his pad level. He's left lifting through the crowther. He goes near foot on it, trying to deliver it, and then ready to snap to the backer. Okay, I don't love this because he's not through it. He's kind of jamming to it. So now I'm going to get penetrated here. I really want to jam and then snap with some urgency and not ready to catch the second level, but to deliver that down as I'm attacking the second level linebacker. Right, so that's when we do that on the crowd where you just put the guy up. Now you just take it and replace it with the person. Right, so this is a nice little progression for us that we use. Now you've got, there's the down. He's going to jam and then snap and just creep the linebackers up. That's what we do. Give them something, a surface to hit and strike. Give them the tempo of what we have to be working. And why we're using this tool is, you play a team of linebackers, but they play at three yards instead of to throw the four and a half. Right? It's third and two, and you're anticipating run throughs. But I can't just run by the down to get to a linebacker. I still got to get the thing started. So the jam snap tempo really helps where I can near foot and then snap to the backer. All right, you watch him here. Good to the near foot, a little high, but I'm still square. I'm still trying to get the play started and then able to cover this thing up as we work.